The rocky inner tidal of Cabrillo National Monument is filled with a wonderful diversity of life, including diminutive barnacles, solitary anemones, and spiny lobsters. This unique habitat is home to a wide variety of organisms. One species that's rarely seen at Cabrillo National Monument is the leopard shark. However, while monitoring in a remote section of the park, Cabrillo staff and volunteers observed a large aggregation of sharks. This behavior is a regular occurrence in nearby La Jolla, where large groups of females are commonly seen. Seeking answers, we turn to our partners at Scripps Institute of Oceanography. These female aggregations that are mostly consisting of pregnant females can be found in a bunch of different places along the California coastline. My name is Andy Nosel, and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. In La Jolla, we've got a very special phenomenon where every summer from June through December, hundreds of pregnant female leopard sharks come into the shallows. And the spot that they like is right in shore of the head of La Jolla Submarine Canyon. And the reason that seems to be important is that as the waves pass over the canyon, the wave energy gets diverted away away from the canyon head where the sharks are, so the waves there are much smaller. Lower waves mean less water turbulence, less mixing with cold water from the deep, um, and so that water tends to warm. Because leopard sharks are ectothermic or cold-blooded, their body temperature is the same as the surrounding water temperature. And so what we think is going on is these pregnant females, they're incubating, they're developing embryos by hanging out in these, uh, in these warm waters, um, kind of like a mother bird sitting on her eggs to keep them warm. What Dr. Nocell's research has shown us is that San Diego leopard sharks are typically found in only a handful of locations. So a sighting of this nature is highly unusual, and our initial assumptions that these were pregnant females didn't turn out to be the case. The leopard sharks that were observed in Cabrillo, they seem to be juveniles in the range of two to three feet. So leopard sharks, they will mature at around four feet. Um, so the fact that there's mostly juveniles there leads me to believe this is mostly uh, serving as a nursery ground. The juvenile leopard sharks are gonna be feeding on similar things, um, small crustaceans like crabs, uh, shrimp, um, also small mollusks like little squid and little octopus, and all of these things can be found um, in uh, areas where there's seagrass and where there's tide pools. This is exactly the type of habitat a juvenile leopard shark will seek out. This thick cover of seagrass provides excellent protection for predators and is a place where they can find an abundance of food. The next steps for the park are to answer the questions of where do these sharks come from and once they left the tide pools, where do they go to next? Should they return to the pools next year, we intend to catch a handful of individuals and attach a device to them that will help track their movements. This information will allow us to unravel a bit of the mystery behind these particular sharks and how they might be linked to other leopard shark populations in San Diego.